Hello everyone, this is me Pratibha Biswas and you are watching Frankly Speaking. So, uh, today is 25th February 2025 and the next exam that I'm having is on 28th, that is Second Language Bengali. And council decided to give us just a two day gap to do our math exam. Like, I still understand for us that we got a gap because of our choice of subjects before our second language exam but then for the science students we had chemistry exam on 24 if they have taken up second language they are having second language exam on 28 and right after the two day gap they'll have to appear for the maths exam i found that many of you are concerned for your maths exam so i just wanted to show you this This is council's weightage distribution according to chapters. If you were to take my advice, I would advise you to start preparing with section C because we have linear programming, linear depression, and application of calculus there, which are easy to scope. And then we also have probability and in 13 marks. And it's probability. So you know it's easy. Then we also have relations and functions, matrices and determinants and we just cannot tell me that you don't know how to solve matrices and determinants. And then I would say that we can go forward with solving differential equations. That is also an easy chapter. So I find that definite integrals are a lot easier than indefinite integrals. We just have some formulae there and it's easy to solve. So we can go forward with practicing those two. And since it's 25th February from 25, I am in a dilemma right now that should I be studying for my second language exam or should I be practicing maths? Because I need to practice a lot of maths still. But Bengali is a subject that I've neglected throughout the year. So I want to study this too. So basically that was it for today. I just wanted to have a conversation with you 